sun is millions of miles away still we get heat from the sun in between the sun and the earth there is no atmosphere for most of the part this is called as vacuum heat travels through vacuum before it reaches us this type of energy transfer is known as radiation to radiate generally means to emit heat is transferred in the form of electromagnetic waves visible light is one kind of electromagnetic wave energy transferred this way is called as thermal radiation no medium is required for heat transfer by radiation light energy also travels through vacuum as it is transferred in the form of electromagnetic waves what about campfire even if we are not in contact with it and we are away from it still we feel the heat heat energy is transferred by radiation infrared radiation ir sometimes called as infrared light it is also electromagnetic radiation with longer wavelengths than those of visible light and is therefore generally invisible to the human eye infrared rays carry lot of energy infrared thermography thermal imaging and thermal video are examples of infrared imaging science graphic cameras usually detect radiation from hot objects and produce images of that radiation they are called as thermograms since infrared radiation is emitted by all objects with a temperature above zero thermography makes it possible to get images in environment even in dark a rattlesnake's face has thermal radiation detectors allowing the snake to strike at an animal even in complete darkness let's pour water in these two containers its initial temperature is 27.8 degree celsius one is painted black and the other one is white if i place both the containers in the sunlight for equal time will the water inside both the containers have the same temperature it is 37.3 degrees celsius for the water in black container and 33.1 degrees celsius for the water in white container it looks like water in black container is hotter than the white container we can say that the ability of a substance to absorb heat also depends on its color black color absorbs maximum heat how about losing heat we will pour hot water in both the containers and let it cool down after 1 hour if i measure the temperature of water in both the containers will it be same try it out and find it out thermos let us pour hot water in the thermos its initial temperature is 89.1 degree celsius i'll close the lid and keep it aside for 1 hour temperature of water after 1 hour is 83.6 degree celsius now let us repeat the same activity with a steel jar initial temperature of water is 86.3 degree celsius after 1 hour its temperature is 61.2 degree celsius why it remained hotter in thermos than in steel jar it is the way thermos is constructed a thermos flask is a well insulated container a thermos has an inner glass chamber and an outer plastic one the outer material can also be made of metal like stainless steel for greater durability between the inner and outer layers there is a vacuum the inner glass casing is generally lined with a reflective metal layer container can be sealed from the top with screw like stopper this arrangement virtually eliminates all the heat transfer from liquid inside to the outside world either by conduction convection or radiation can thermos keep cold things cold try it yourself summary radiation is a method of heat transfer for which no medium is required 
Thermal radiation is an electromagnetic radiation generated by thermal motion of particles in matter. This electromagnetic interaction from the sun is what heats the earth. We discussed how a thermos flask works. Its structure prevents heat loss through conduction, convection or radiation.